What is up beautiful people? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Do you see what's on my desk? Do you see what's on my desk? Honey, it is fall. Today is the first day of fall. So happy fall y'all. It is my favorite season of the year. I love when the leaves turn, I love the cool weather, I love the smell, I love the pumpkin spice, everything. This is your girl's season, okay? So in honor of the first day of fall, we are going to set up these good fall micro notes. Hey, we are ready. So I created a little um, micro notes cover using the um, Woodland Wonders kit subscription box from Planners Anonymous. So here's the cover, here's the inside, here is the back cover, the little owl on there, and I've got um, all the things I need to put this together. I've got some rings, good old gold discs, and I went through my stash and pulled out my trusty fall paper clips. I'm not buying anything new, I'm just recycling because these are my favorites anyway. So we're just gonna recycle those. I've also got some little fall-esque um, charms I'm going to attach to a paper clip. You see that little acorn on there? She cute. And then this one has got some kind of little leaves on it and then the fall colors. She cute too. And let's see, I've got some papers that I've cut down to the right size. And some of them have deco on the back or the little journaling cards on the back. All the different colors. And I got, I used the vellum, cut that down. All the pattern papers. So we are ready to set this up, y'all. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna set this, um, I think I might attach this one with the paper clip or a little binder, a little cute gold binder clip. Okay, so we're gonna set this up today and we're gonna get this uh, micro notes all ready to rock. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome to Peace of the Plans. I do hope you find some inspiration here and that you will consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the fun right here on this channel when I post videos right here for you. If you're already a part of the fam, welcome back. You know what's getting ready to go down. We're gonna set up this micro notes for October and November with all the planners anonymous cuteness. And if you wanna see how this micro notes comes together for my favorite season, autumn, just stick around. Okay, so let's talk about the cover. You know I've been making these little covers for my um, micro notes, and this one looks a little bit on the janky side. Um, but it's fine because I want it to look kind of like natural-ish. But isn't that cute though? That little plaid, the little acorns on it. And then it says create your own adventure. I've got the pocket here that my micro notes will slide into. And so I guess we should probably start by going ahead and punching a hole in this and put the string on it. So we'll be ready when the micro note is ready, we will be ready. So let's go ahead and do that. If you missed the video on how I create these um, little covers for your micro notes, I will put a card up above that has the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. So in my stash, I've just been shopping my own stash, okay? In my stash, I found this really nice elastic band and it's white and I think it will look perfect with this cover, right? Isn't that gonna be cute? So we're gonna go ahead and use that. I'm gonna grab my little scissors. And I don't remember which planner this came with, but it already had a knot in it, but I'm just gonna cut that. Because we don't need it to be this long. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna measure twice the um, width across the front. And that is really all we need. We're gonna give a little bit of space for our knot. And that's really all we need to create this um, 
uh, little string for our cover. Okay, and then we're going to take this little awl and we're just going to punch a hole in the center of the spine of this little binder cover. So I'm going to kind of eyeball. You could definitely measure this if you wanted to. I'm just not a measury type of person. So I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm just going to put a hole in there. And that is going to help me to um, secure the string on here. I'm just going to use my awl to stuff this in. And once you get it going, you can just turn it over and pull it once you get it going in there. And then we're just going to test it and make sure it's the right size. And that's perfect. That is perfection. It's loose enough that it's not going to, you know, choke your planner cover. All right, so when we finish putting the um, micro notes together, we'll put her in here. All right, but that's all we're going to do with the all for now. Now we're going to go ahead and set the um, actual micro notes up. So I'm going to start with the cover. And I just used the main girl Roxy on here and I added one of the little um, wooden signs down to the bottom and then I used this uh, full sheet of scrapbook paper in the back and in my mind, you know I always have a story for everything, right? In my mind she's like walking through the forest and she sees this fox there taking a nap so she turns around and take a selfie or asks whoever's with her to take a picture. <laughs> Isn't that dumb? <laughs> But that's what's going on in my mind with this cover. She's like, take a picture of me real quick. There's a fox right there in the background. Do you see that fox over there? Okay, so anyway, we're gonna put the little rings on, the little discs. I keep calling them rings. They're not rings, they're discs. We're gonna put the gold discs on. I'm so excited, y'all, about this. <sighs> I know I've expressed before how much I love fall. Probably ad nauseum, but it's just my favorite. Okay, so the first thing I want to do to kind of fatten it up a little bit is put in my paper. So I found some um, Happy Planner micro note paper in my stash, again, and it's got the little black and white polka dots, and I, I really don't care. I'm just going to use it anyway. If I ever want to cover this up, I can always use sticker paper to cover, cover that up, or I can use washi tape to cover that up. So I'm not worried about it having the black and white polka dots, but I am going to put it in the back, though. I'm going to put these sheets in the back. And I'm putting a lot of pages in here, probably more than I need for the two months. But what I was thinking about doing in here, um, especially for um, the month of November, is maybe putting a little gratitude journal in here. I think that would be cute to add a little simple gratitude or gratitude quotes or something in here for the month of November. Or even doing like a um, a little November sketch challenge and just sketch a picture on it. Say something really cute with this particular um, planner setup for the month of November. But we're going to use this for October and November. Okay, so the pages are in. So let's go through what else I have. I've got some pieces cut down. I made these clear um, little... Uh, they're like laminated sheet dividers. So I have three of these. I have this one with the owl on it and the little bow at the top. And I meant to laminate this bow, but I forgot. So the bow itself is not laminated. That was my mistake, but I'm still gonna put it in here because it's very cute. So let's add this maybe toward the back so the bow will stick out. And then I also have this one with the little raccoon and somebody in the comments, I think two people told me in the comments, the book is The Kissing Hand. Right, right. That's the book I was thinking of 
when I saw these little raccoons. Isn't that the sweetest little book, little children's book, The Kissing Hand? Oh, I love it. So this is what this reminds me of. But this uh, little quote on here says, never lose your sense of wonder. And this is also a laminated divider page. So I'm going to put that um, maybe in the middle. I'm just going to spread these elements out. No particular reason, just making it look cute. And then I'm going to put in, I have one more of those, which is the fox. And it says, stay foxy. So I'm going to put this one near the front. Okay. And the good thing about this being on the little disc is that you can move things around whenever you want to. Okay, so I'm going to um, add in the rest of these pages. And the first page I know I want is this one that says never lose your sense of wonder. I want that to be the very first intro page when you open up this planner. I want that to be the first thing you see. So super cute. And then I probably want another page here right opposite of it. And I may um, add some deco. I've grabbed some other things too. They're in other planners that I wasn't using. Look at that little coffee die cut. That's cute. And then this girl with her coffee, another die cut. This girl with her stack of books. It's been in several of my planners before. This girl. This is not really fall, so I might not use this, but it's just cute. This bow goes with the colors. You know, that little creamy color, little creamy pink. This girl, the reason I chose her is because she has on this jacket, like a long sleeve jacket. This girl's not really fall either. We won't use her. This girl is fall and winter. She's cute with her little pink on and then her cup of cocoa, what have you. And then these girls from Gold Mine and Cocoa are my favorite fall girls. So I might try to put them in like a little pocket or something here. I don't know. Or I might just save these in here for now and I'm probably going to actually use them in a spread because I've got some more Gold Mine and Cocoa stickers coming soon. And then I want to use this as well, but I'm going to use this in the cover. I'm going to attach a little pocket in this cover and add this in here. All right, so we'll get to that shortly. But I just want to show you that I'm just shopping my stash. Instead of always buying new stuff, we don't have to do that. Just remember, I have been, I have actually, now while I'm talking to you, I'm going to go ahead and put some more of these dividers in here. But I have literally um, had stuff in my stash and totally forgotten that it was in there you know you buy things sometimes and you just forget that you have it and um oh i know i want to put this one with the owl in the back this says you're a hoot so yeah don't do not be um afraid to use your stash and use things that are considered you know old or whatever it doesn't really matter it's your planner and it should make you happy and it shouldn't cost cost you an arm a leg an eyeball and two teeth you know what I'm saying? It should be fun and it shouldn't be like break the bank all the time. So don't forget to shop your stash and look around and see what you have. Especially before you, you know, get ready to buy a bunch of new stuff. So for this card, I want to attach it with one of my little binder clips. I found these binder clips in, again, my stash. So I'm just going to pull one of these off and attach this little... Um, journaling card on here and then add this to my lineup as well and I may actually do this to more than one page but I just want to kind of tilt it make it look cute on there and then just clip it with the binder clip and it'll stay right in place because of that okay and then we'll just add this on and there's really no rhyme or reason for why I'm putting these things in where I'm putting them right now. I'm just kind of setting it up. And I can always go back and move things around if I want to. Okay, now I've got everything set up in my planner looking so cute and I did put the um, acetate on top of the um, matching page if you saw my um, unboxing you saw that the acetate matches this printed sheet and so I lined it up with that I think that turned out so cute that gold foil popping on there 
Okay, and then I've got some paper and I've got some vellum and my little clear divider. So cute on there. And I've got some of the acetate on the white paper as well. I think that always looks so pretty to just put acetate on the white paper background. It makes the acetate just pop. Another thing I love to do is to put washi on the edge of my pages. So I did that on this page and I also love to have the two page spreads like this. So when you open the planner up, you've got this full, it just makes the planner look bigger to me. <laughs> Even though I love the tiny nature of it, it just makes it look so cute and, and just full when you um, put a two page spread in there like that. And then I did include the little um, sticky note tabs. So stinking cute and I'm actually gonna write on those I think they're really really cute and I've got more paper and then I've got the little um, scrapbook paper that was included in here and just went through and put everything in just made it look super cute and you always can come back in and add pieces later if you would like to here's another page that acetate lined up with the printed page and let's see the little raccoon there and then I've got um, this little quote that says, Be Wild and Wonder. Then I have this little note card attached with the binder clip. And yeah, I just got it all hooked up. And I did put this little die cut in here and I did punch it. So cute. And one thing I do want to change is I want to have a background to this one. I think I want to use the acetate as a background for that. So let me switch something around. I think this will look cute. Yes, that looks so cute. So you're a hoot, the owl's over here and he's backed up with the little um, green plaid. Okay, so now what I want to do is put in my um, paper clips and my little deco. So. I have these little charms and I'm going to simply put, I'm just going to string them onto these gold paper clips. That is all I'm going to do. It's not a permanent um, situation. It's just enough for me to um, get it in my planner and let it dangle down, okay? So let's find a spot for this one. I want to put it on something pretty sturdy. So I might grab a couple of sheets of paper and just clip it on there just like that. And then we'll do it one more time with another paper clip. And then we'll just find another sturdy spot that can stand the weight of the clip without tearing it up. And then there you've got two little dangles. Really, really cute and easy. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I cannot take it. Y'all know that's cute. <laughs> okay, so then I wanna add in my paper clips, my little um, fall leaves paper clips. And I think what is going to work best is for me to put them in the back and just kind of clip them all to the back of the planner. They don't have to be on the same page, but just near the back. I think that's gonna be a nice stacked look. Isn't that cute? Okay, and then let's try to add the little pin clip. Now this part, I, I don't know if this is gonna work. This little pin loop, I don't know about this, but we're gonna try it anyway. So I'm gonna take these last few pages and just, um, let me slide this paper clip over just a little bit. And then we're gonna add this in and see if, okay, that's not gonna work. So let's try another. Hmm. Let's go over a few pages. And let's try it here. There we go. I don't want it to interfere with that leaf. Okay, 
and then we're going to see if this pen will look not crazy <laughs> when we put it in the planner cover. So I think that's all I want to do for now. But even if you just did just this, this is super cute. You got your pen, you got your, your clips, you've got your little dangles, you're ready to rock, right? Okay, so let's slide it into the cover and make sure everything fits nice and snug. So we're just gonna take this little back side of our um, micro notes, slide it in there, close everything up, and then just put the string on it. Boom. We are ready for fall, y'all. But I gotta do one more thing. I gotta do one more thing. Hold on. Okay, I gotta do one more thing because I wanna add a little pocket in here, in the front. Because this little girl right here is just too cute to leave out. And she matches. I mean, she's totally matching the whole setup. So I have this little pocket, and I really don't remember where I got it from. I may have ordered it from, I don't even know. So I, so I don't want to say. I don't know. But you can find these clear pockets at a number of different places. So all I'm going to do is just add the pocket up here in the front. And I want to go over kind of as far as I can so it doesn't interfere with the spine closing properly. And I'm just going to seal it on there. And hopefully it'll stick to the planner even though I have Mod Podged it. Okay, then I'm going to put this little marble booklet in here. Oh yeah, we're hooking it up. We're hooking it all the way up. Let's hope it stays stuck down though. All right, and we're gonna add this cute little girl right into this pocket right here. Now you know that's cute. Now we are done. We are all the way done. So cute. So that is it, y'all. That is my micro notes set up for the fall. <sighs> I think it turned out so beautiful. I'm so excited to use this planner for October and November. And then, you know, we're going to do one for December. <laughs> we got to do one for Christmas. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you have any questions about um, any of the items that I used in this setup, please let me know. However, I will tell you that these planner clips, um, these little dangles right here, and the paper clips, I have had these for years, probably three years. So if you go on Etsy and just search um, fall paper clips, fall planner clips, or leaf planner clips, or fall planner charms, you will find all of these types of things on uh, the site. If I can find where I got these particular charms from, I will link it in the description box if I can find it. Um, but just be aware that I bought these things years ago, so the shops may not be open <laughs> or they may not have these same items. But I promise you, if you search fall planner clips or fall planner charms, you will find something similar um, to the things that I have here. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope that you are as excited about fall as I am, y'all. I cannot wait um, to pull out my sweaters and all of my little cozy items and just get fall into full swing. And I hope that you're excited about it too. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already a part of the Peace of the Plans fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the fun right here on this channel. If you're already a part of the fam, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you have a great fall. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. I'll see you next time.